what is it that's actually distinct about being created as a man or distinct about created as a woman? Uh, what is the whole biblical meta-narrative around our ideas of manhood and womanhood? And, and to use maybe a more theological term, um, what is our theological anthropology? What do we believe the Bible says about why we are made and, and where we're headed? Another challenge um, that a lot of people have are all these verses that are held up to teach us about biblical manhood or biblical womanhood and, and all the different interpretations that we're getting on these verses. And which ones are right? Which ones are dangerous? Um, and the question that I really go to with this is how do they fit in with the rest of scripture? And so that's where I'm addressing the bigger picture so that you will be a better reader of scripture to then be able to go back and see how that can properly fit in to God's whole revealed word in scripture. Another big challenge is that we are seeing a lot of arguments about who can be ordained and who cannot be ordained um, as church officers. And, and these are important conversations to be had, but what about the, I don't know, 98% of the rest of God's church? Uh, what do we do? What, what teaching roles do we have in the church and, and exhortation? And where can we serve? And is it different for, for lay men than it is for lay women? What does a disciple do? That is the biggest question that I hit home in this video series. I got interested in this specific topic um, early in my marriage as I was 21 years old when I got married and very eager to be a good wife, a Christian wife, a biblical woman. And so I started devouring the resources that, um, that would help me to, to be that way, to meet my goal. Uh, my parents are divorced, my husband's parents are divorced, and I very much wanted a godly Christian marriage that would last. So when I began reading some of these resources by uh, teachers that I trusted and whom I've learned a lot from before, I began stumbling over some of the teaching in there about what it means to be a biblical woman and what it means to be a biblical man and how that affects my discipleship even in the church. So that led me to begin writing on this topic and um, to digging in scriptures, to speaking with women who have been married uh, much longer than me um, and talking to academics about this topic. And I found that there's a wide range of how people think about this. So then I wanted to look back in church history even to see what's been said. And what I noticed is that we've added a lot of cultural stereotypes to our expectations, um, traditional ones maybe, and, and then we call those biblical, but maybe they're not so biblical. So I wanted to show that if we take some of these cultural elements away, there's something much more beautiful behind it in God's word. There's nothing to be afraid of in doing that. And we still, even more so than as a church, have a voice, a scriptural voice, to share with the world about God's design for man and for woman and, and for marriage in the church. So the videos are broken into three sections, really. And the first section is going to address how we read scripture. And particularly, we're gonna look at the function of the female voice in scripture. Um, is there a female voice in scripture or is it just a male-centered document uh, put together by the most powerful men? How do we answer those radical feminists who accuse us, of, accuse scripture of being a patriarchal document? And how does the woman's voice serve us in scripture? Is there women's literature in it or not? Uh, it's a real exciting part. The second part of the video series is going to address the question of what church is even for? Uh, I think that's a, a 
confusion in our contemporary setting today where people get so much information from parachurch uh, ministries that they might not even see the importance of being a member of a body of Christ, being part of that covenantal community and, and what that even means. And then the third part of the video series is about how we view one another. Um, how do we view each other as men and women in the church? And I use the framework that Paul uses, um, that we are brothers and sisters in the faith. And this is uh, the most frequent way Paul describes us in scripture. That is our status. And then the question then is, what can a brother do? And what can a sister do? And that's pretty exciting. My biggest hope um, for anyone watching this video series after they're through watching it is what I'd love to see is for church officers to be leading discussions about these questions brought up in the videos and about what I teach on communicating God's word and sharing communion in God's word and how that affects um, how they're leading in discipleship in the church. I'd also love to see an effort for church officers and for congregants to make sure that discipleship belongs to the church and that we're not separating it and that we have the proper relationship with our parachurch ministries that we're involved in and, and which we learn from and that we uphold a better, more scriptural idea of the ministry that God gives us of, of the word in the context of the covenantal setting in church. So I encourage you to sign up so that you can begin to have these conversations in your church, with your friends, and in your academic environments.